get the word. I didn't out. see the I didn't see the call was active for some reason. It wasn't showing on my end. Uh, you're good. You're actually about to pass but... out. I forget you're the oldest one here, so you're like really old and shit. <laughs> Wait, actually? Yes, he is older than me. What the fuck? You guys are old as shit. Only like a year <laughs> or so, but still. Yeah, I'm like seven. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, no way, I'm like two. Wild. I guess it'll be five, because five is elite. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> Someone will get that. All I need is one. ...aspect, and let's just record naturally close that tab out and pretend it doesn't exist and just leave it be oh you can't close that OBS I think that'll break the recording well I not not literally close out of it I just have it to oh. tab it minus away I'm not gonna touch nothing I'm not gonna break nothing I guess we're just gonna do this without the streaming aspect fair enough so I don't want to touch nothing. Did you already ping everyone? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Well, sucks to be them. Well, whatever, they can see the full thing tomorrow. Just no questions. Here, I guess he'll do this. I'll throw an at in Coconut Mall. Ask questions <laughs> if you want us to answer them. Oh, so are we doing like a Q&A? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, what are we going to talk about? Because it's been... Well, over a week since the Super Bowl, and I think that's been beaten to death. I mean, we could do, like, a recap if we want. Should Fair we do enough. an introduction, or do we just want to... Like... <laughs> Dramatic introductions <laughs> of introductions. <laughs> welcome to the podcast that doesn't have a name, because... Fuck. Welcome, welcome <laughs> to the Fortnite podcast. I am Fortnite. <laughs> I love it, personally. Uh, I'm the cat, that's the quagsire, that's the bowl of rice, three idiots talking about uh, whatever, realistically. But the premise if of football... If you're Subleaf, then who's Dom Branch? What? <laughs> Why does everyone keep asking that? Everyone outside of Kokomo, every time they see Why his name... Why does everyone ask that? <laughs> wait, was that... Wait, is, so is that not the first time? That's the first time I've heard Dom like Branch, a... but I've heard Dom Lee yeah. several times. <laughs> like, that joke has been repeated so many times. Gotcha. If you're the sub, then who's the Dom of this uh, podcast? <laughs> or are we all subs? <laughs> you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I hate myself. Is Discord crashing again? Are we serious? Hello? Am I crashing again? Name for the podcast on this episode? Sure. I don't know. Welcome back to the, the Battle Pass. Did I crash again? <laughs> no. Did you? It went silent for like a minute, so I didn't know if I missed something from y'all. Oh. Uh. Or were y'all just quiet for a second? I don't know. I'm going insane. <laughs> I'm going to jail. I mean, my computer's older I'm... than me, so it's... No surprise it doesn't want to run anything properly. Cat, you are 80 years old. You were born in 1405. Great. Boomer. Okay, person with anime girl as his profile picture. I will give... Um... No, I don't. Wait. Oh, you're not talking about me. You also have a profile pic. You, you have a Pokemon. <laughs> you're stuck in yeah. the 2000s, I believe. I am stuck in the 2000s. Yeah, I was stuck, I'm was stuck. i stuck in 2000s, did... even though I was born after that. Oh, that's crazy. Wait, did, did Triple Stat do your profile picture? Yes. I was about to say, I spent 20 bucks on this profile picture. <laughs> nice. Also, my Twitter one. Yes, uh, that purple sale. Mm, I loved it. Although they I were. I just looked at it closely for the first time in 
realized, oh, hey, that looks like Trip. Shout out to Trip. If you ever need an artist, I hook y'all up. Shout out to Spicy Stabber. Shout out to Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to uh, Clear America. It's flavored water that's somewhat carbonated and actually tastes really good. I don't know. I don't have anyone else to shout out. Um, shout out to me. I don't know. I think. I think. Uh, shout out to yeah, the editor we keep in the dungeon. Oh yeah! Shout out to <laughs> Jacob Cabo. Uh, shout out to you and Vinny. Stream them. That's a threat. <laughs> shout out to. Uh, Sublief be original two seconds, Dennis. Impossible. Ask us questions and uh, ask, us, uh, ask us Fortnite questions. Don't actually ask us Fortnite questions. I haven't played Fortnite in like five years. Sam. I think I touched it once. Like, like I think it's time. a. <laughs> like I think it's a good um. Or at least from what I remember, it's a good game. I don't know. I just stopped paying attention to it. Yeah. I'm a I know, um, Mr. I know Mr. Beast is in it now. Travis Scott's in Fortnite. I think that's funny. True. How's he doing? Is he in pain? I'm in great pain. I'm in great pain. <laughs> I'm a real gamer. Oh, oh, speaking of Jacob K, I just got a Steam notification. He's on Gary's mod. I want to do a Gary's Mod, like, TTT game one of these days. I want to do, like, a fucking Backrooms thing. I think that'd be funny. You guys like the fucking sandbox, which I don't mind, but I, I like those organized game modes. Like, I grew up on that shit. I literally did not know what Gary's Mod was until, like, a few months ago. Like, I had it, I just didn't know what it was. It's I, I've had Gmod for a while, but I've only ever done Prop Hunt. I bought it, like, all the way back in, like, 2014, 2015. And I had my one friend where we tried, like, the one-on-one -on -one Prop Hunt thing. But, like, you learn quickly that it's a... That Gary's Mod is better when you have multiple people. And for the most part, it was just us two. And now he only plays hunting games. Yeah. Which, I mean, good for him, I guess. He's gotten himself just 100,000 subscribers on YouTube for it, so lucky, I guess that's the way to go. Fair enough. I have, like, two. <laughs> yeah. And also getting thousands of dollars to get high-quality content, but hey, that's a different subject for another day. This area is overrun with monsters, no way. I use the at everyone ping and no one is using it. I hate them all. We are the crystal gems. At everyone. Please at do everyone. not announce to the server. When you are going to go. <laughs> number one money. or number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number fifteen. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger. Who wants to talk the Super Bowl? Let's try that. Then let's get a digression going. Anyone have any thoughts on the Super Bowl? I know me and uh, Rice you disagree on one thing, but uh, the penalty call fucking how it sucked. Ended. Yeah, thank you. It's not that I don't disagree with it, but it's at the same time like. I, I think that's I think that's too I just think that's too soft of a call to make in that situation. Like it wasn't I don't think it was blatant enough to be a call that should have affected the entire game because it did affect the entire game. I mean it, it shut I mean, the yeah, door. Yeah, that was what decided the game. It yeah. shut the door on Philly having a chance to drive the field and tie it, but with like no timeouts yeah. you could argue it's a 50-50 if they actually do it. 
I'm just saying. Well, 50 50 is better than a zero and a hundred. All I'm, all I'm saying mostly is Philadelphia fans can't be bitter or can't blame the game on that. When they, I'm going to say it, they choked the game away. It, it was, it, it's not like they had a commanding lead, though. Well, I'll just say that. Like, 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 I think the game was within reach for either team the whole time. I don't think they necessarily choked anything. I just don't, I just don't think that they should have been, I just don't think they should have been denied that chance to answer back when there was, like, maybe half a second of Bradbury... Not only just half a second of him gripping part of the jersey, but also when that pass was not catchable to begin with. Remember when you said he was going to get three picks in that game? Like a bold prediction? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I, I was shit posting. Yeah. I was tempted to place. I was looking through some of the bets online. It's like, oh, you can actually place a bet on who can get multiple picks. I almost wanted to put down one just for you. Because <laughs> I thought that would have been funny. Would have been, it would have been kind of funny. But it, I would have been a prophet and started my own religion, probably. <laughs> I'm just saying, when you are more or less dominating the game, and Casey, yeah, they put a 14, but one of that was a defensive touchdown on a derp play because Jalen forgot to, how to hold the ball properly. When you're basically dominating that yeah. game and then come out of the second half and get outscored 21-3, to or as Casey goes on a 21-3 to run, Again, my my sympathies for Philly are lacking. Was I it... mean, it, it still has to be there in some capacity, though, because no game, no game should be decided on a penalty call that questionable. Uh, let alone let alone the Super Bowl. You could say questionable. I thought it was the right call. I I didn't. If it was the right call, I feel like it was way too questionable to be uh, well, called he, at all. Well, here's what. He, Here's the counterpoint. The, the pass wasn't even within catching range to begin with, and I think that's my big problem with it. Let's let's make the counter. Yeah, but argument. that would have made it pass interference and not holding, which would have been still. Worse but here's my counterpoint. Was... Say that call doesn't get made, and Philly, when they get the ball back, they drive down for a touchdown and they win the game. What are we going to be talking about all off right. season? That call that well, I'm, match. well, I'm a I'm a Chargers fan, and I just would have been drinking the Chief Sands Delicious Tears. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. So we can all agree that this is Jackson Mahomes' fault, right? Oh, absolutely. Fuck that guy. Yeah, that's how. It's Nobody, go. not even Patrick Mahomes likes Jackson Mahomes. Yeah. Not even, not even Patrick Mahomes the second or the, the first likes Jackson Mahomes. Yeah. Nobody fucking likes. Jackson Mahomes. I almost said I almost said Patrick and like they're Patrick I troop up senior, on those names a lot. Blah blah Because everyone has to name there. Like, like I said, I don't like them. playing against Patrick, but I do respect the hell out of the guy. I'm just saying and because earlier in that game there was a that you, which is where some people argue, there was a hold on Juju that wasn't called, and a lot of people were arguing for it. So had that call not gone as well. That's it would be two calls in a row. That the ref just kind of said "fuck it," and then you'd have the Chiefs fan. I mean, let's be real. At the end of the Super Bowl, someone's gonna be bitching at the end of the day. Yes. So yeah, for me, it's more of I'd rather them bitching about the right thing than bitching about, say, a call didn't a a, a ref swallowed their whistle, so to speak. Um, again, I mean, yeah. what was obvious? It's not like it was ticky tacky, like. He held him twice on that route. I think it. I think the issue is tough when the contact window is so short. Like it wasn't like they were more than five yards downfield or anything like that. They were at the, like they were lined up at the line of scrimmage. That's just kind of what happens when you're when you're guarding your man. You know. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, and when, again, when you think about calls and missed calls, you obviously have to go back to the Rams Saints game a couple of years ago, where it's like, huh, missed call, 
huh, look what happened at the Mythic Hall. The Rams ended yeah, up winning. Yeah, I posted about that on uh, my second Twitter account, and I think I think that tweet ended up getting like taken down by Twitter. Funny, Ooh. funny enough. How did that get taken down? Mm. Elon well, Musk I mean, doesn't the... like me. I mean, the Rams fell the fuck off the next year, Assessor Karma. Yeah, pretty much. You love to see it. <laughs> oh, Chiefs are fucked. Are they? They're up next. I want to believe it, but every time it turns out they're still there. I want to believe yeah. it. Probably. I'm not like the Chargers are going to do anything. They kept Brandon Staley, so they're going to take another playoff game against some inferior opponent next year anyway. I mean, the Hawks literally just got rid of Nate McMillan, so. <laughs> if the Hawks oh, yeah, that, okay. why can't the Chargers get rid of Staley? Okay. <laughs> well, okay, I, I want to give Staley, I want to give Staley one more year without Lombardi and see if he can do anything better. If not, then we can get rid of him. Because, like, I know players, I know our players have confidence in him. Like, the, the way they've talked, the way they talked about him, they no one said that shit about Mike McCoy or like they said a lot of good. Um, they said a lot of good things about Anthony Lynn on a personal level, but not really as far as game plan. Like out of our past three or four coaches, this is who they the most trust in. It feels so. I'm so I'm just gonna say this is a prove it year for him. If he can't. If he can't get over the hump, get get the fuck out of L.A. Well, what's the hump this year? What what what's the standard? Not choking in the playoffs. I well, that's part of it. I do think it's gonna be. I do think part of it though is going to be more so about. Um. I don't know. I think our one of our biggest problems last year was just how formulaic our offense was and how. I know Herbert was dealing with the ribs, but he still wasn't being used to his full potential. Yeah, they fucking. I think I think a big thing for him is if he continues play calling duties, is just gonna be let the players be effective. We have we have so many young players; they gotta actually be allowed to do shit, you know. Yeah, you need to keep your coach. receivers healthy. That's what you need. Well, yeah, that, that is another problem, but. So like, the last time we let someone hate... cook in the NFL, they turned to their worst season yet. <laughs> Maybe it's not yeah, that hate... players cook. Here's the thing. You let Russ cook in Seattle with Pete Carroll, he's going to cook like filet mignon. You let Russell Wilson cook in Denver with Nathaniel what's Hackett. His, what's his name? Yeah, Nathaniel Hackett. Bro is going to cook minute rice in <laughs> 60 minutes. <laughs> Dude, I'm... I'm still, guy that makes... I'm still laughing my ass off over the Sean Payton thing. Like, you like... traded in your entire future for a guy who, granted, did look better once he got rid of Nathaniel Hackett, but he still was nowhere near. Um, he, yeah, he was and nowhere, like, he... he was nowhere near the guy that you traded for last year, right? And then. Yeah, they traded. They Five don't have picks. a future after this. They, if yeah, this they doesn't are... work out, they're just fucked. Right, and I will be laughing all the way to the draft. Yeah. Seattle has, like, what, the number three pick now? They have the fifth pick, and they have, like, the 19th, I think. That is gorgeous. I'm really hoping. Gorgeous, gorgeous, that... gorgeous. I'm really hoping. I know there was some, like, defensive end who was really good. I'm hoping he falls to the fifth pick. Well, what is it? Houston's going to take a quarterback. Indy's going to take a quarterback. I think that Chicago trades... I think that Chicago... Or not Chicago. I think that they trade down for, like... The Colts, probably? I could see them trading down, like... A pick or two. I would argue I, I don't... more than a pick or two. Because I think that the Bears already have their quarterback i think that the bears already have they all keep, of the young talent yeah. they need the, the, it just needs to develop the bears have their quarterback to the people on the internet saying to get rid of that quarterback you're a moron no do not get rid of that quarterback 
You know who could use that quarterback? The Colts. If oh, absolutely. They, if, yeah. If... You know, there are a lot of teams that could use that quarterback. The, the Broncos could use that quarterback. The Colts need to get their the, own line. Healthy. I guess now the Raiders could use that quarterback, too. That's why, like, the, for the Bears, if they carried that pick, the, the Colts and, like, the Raiders, had, I think they're at nine. Do the Raiders make a push for it? Depending on what the Ravens do with uh, Lamar Jackson, they could use that pick. I'm sure they're going to franchise Honestly, tag him. yeah. I, I think that's what they're coming down to at this point. Lamar doesn't want to leave. They don't want him to leave. They're not going to get something to work. They'll just say, fine, we'll franchise tag and pay you $40 million or whatever it is this year. And then watch as the quarterback market rises because Herbert and Burrow and Hurts are all going to get these all contracts. Daniel Jones is somehow going to get forty million for whatever reason. Oh yeah, Daniel, Daniel Jones, Jones asking for forty five million is absurd. That is absurd. That is Tobias Harris type swindling. Like I, I do think he, I do think he improved a lot last year, but I know, and I know the market is like insane right now for quarterbacks, but how do you make that demand? You don't. You just don't. Yeah. He's well, earned the right well, it's a little late for at that. least resign, but like, dang, like, I, you, you can't give him forty. You can't. And if the Giants do, then God, I, I don't. Like, here's the thing: if we see an improved version of the Daniel Jones we saw last year, but we see it consistently all the way through, well, if Daniel Jones, then you could argue maybe like. What's the thing? Give him like a one year deal. One million, thirty million. I don't know. For Give him sure. a one year deal, like not on the tag, like like one year with incentives. And if Brian Dayball is the genius we think he is, and healthy Saquon say, "Damn, this team now ten plus wins. Maybe they win the division. Maybe uh, the Maybe. NFC East has a no repeated champion for like the last twenty years thing going on. So I mean, can New York slide in? Can Washington, when they figure out what no, quarterback they want? No, Philadelphia's going to take it. Philadelphia's going to take it. There's no way that they don't. I mean, they should be the favorite. I'm not saying they shouldn't be the favorite. Unless oh. Jalen Hurts gets hurt or something, even then they have Gardner Minshew if they want to bring him back. I don't think they resign Gardner Minshew. You don't? They, I don't even know if he's a free agent or not, but I don't think they resign him. I'm surprised that they didn't flip Gardner Minshew for like somebody who could have done. A I don't lot. Know. I mean, if he's a free agent, like, fucking Miami needs to sign him. Yeah. Miami, they have Tua. Yeah, sign Gardner as a backup for when Tua gets concussed for the fourth time and ends up paralyzed when the waist is down or something like that. Right. Hey. <laughs> Because the doctors yeah, don't know forgot. what the fuck yeah. they're doing. Tua needs to get healthy. Tua, Demar. And I know that's not really on him. Some of these players need to take a year like, off. Oh yeah, abso absolutely not. Like there, are, there were games where he just shouldn't have been put back in. Uh yeah. Like the who was that even on? Was that on like the front office? Was that on the uh, coaches? Like who? The 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 the. the, the, the I'd say the coaches, I guess. The coaches and, like, the health team or whatever, all that shit, said it was his back during the Buffalo game. When clearly Hami was about to pass out on the field again. And, like, they gave him the go. And it's like, bruh. Like, had he played on a Sunday game, it would have been fine. But the fact that their next week game was a Thursday night game, I wanted to touch yeah, that no. hell. No way in hell. Uh, they did. We took a hit. Just me personally, who was that game against? I, I actually That was forgot. Cincy. It was on that Cincinnati field. Oh. Well, yeah, you don't... Here's the thing. The Bengals have bad you luck with your their L field. You take your L against Cincinnati there. Like, come on. Me. Like, if, if, if there is a good chance that Tua is going to beat you with your quarterback who's at a high injury risk don't play him just take your L and then move on in the next few weeks so that you can have a so that you can have your starting quarterback play healthily I think that's all it comes down to 
No, they've handled that situation like even, poorly. Even if you don't have the take the L mentality, you shouldn't be putting him back out there. Yeah. Like that was that was way too hard a hit. He was was wasn't that the game where he where he was struggling to stand up and almost fell down when he took like two steps. That was the Buffalo game in week three, I, and then week four oh, yeah, they that, had the that, Thursday that night was game. It, that was it. And that's when he rolled out and took a sack where it wasn't that hard sack, but his head hit the ground, and that's when he threw up yeah. the gang sign fingers. There was an actual term for it, but I don't remember what it's called. There's an actual term for it, but, like, I don't remember. But whatever it is, he should not have been yeah, no allowed to play that game again. Game. Like, the NFL always talks about wanting to find ways to improve player safety, but, like... And then they don't. They don't improve player yeah. safety because shit like that happens. They don't care. They say they care, and I'm sure they do care, but ultimately they yeah. don't care. They're gonna... Ultimately, they're just gonna end up quoting Mike Tomlin. We do not care. We do, we not, do care. not care. I fucking love that video. Stephen A. Smith. Care. Rap battle. Epic rap battles of history. The Sun versus the fucking NFL. <laughs> the NFL versus the unmatched power of the Sun. Yeah. Pretty much. You know, I might be a little, a little Miami, bit... Miami. Uh... South Beach, Miami. In the September when it's 100 degrees. Ugh. Epic fucking rap battles of history. Pyramithra versus a gun. The sword in my ass. Pyramithra, Pyramithra win, actually. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> I know. I play them in Smash Bros. Pyramithra versus this loaded gun I found. <laughs> mm. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, gun. Rest in peace, gun. This is so sad. This is so know. sad. Been, Can we I've get been... 40 bullets? I'm gonna kill you no. with the power of friendship. And this gun and I this found. Gun I found. Maybe the real friend, maybe the real treasure was this gun I found along the way. Maki Harakawa. <laughs> I'm playing, oh my god, I just did it again. I'm playing Stardew Valley right now, and I, and I found like a club, and I keep beating people over the head with a club on accident. Don't cross her bow. Did it again. Oops. I, sorry, I didn't mean to beat you over the head with a club, I just, I, it was an accident. I did it again! What? It's not about getting good sublease. No. I, I I will never. It's against my moral compass. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the heck is going on, Arifty? <laughs> That's Pyramithra, no way. <laughs> oh, hey, Isaac, I want to punt Chie like a football. <laughs> Punch like mid. Chie. I want to punch I, I started playing Persona 4 like a couple weeks ago. Oh, Chie. Okay. So, mid 4. So, like, I, I'll play it and I'll be like streaming in uh, Coconut Mall. And every time Chie talks, it's like, <laughs> I want to punt you like a football. Every time. <laughs> uh Sense. We will find the connection of we will find per Persona and Danganronpa. We will find one. <laughs> there is a connection. It would make sense. I tried comparing Teddy to Monokuma and Isaac wanted to kill me for it. <laughs> no way. It's Ted Die. Teddy's great. <laughs> Where is the thing you texted me? Um. New skill unlocked. New skill unlocked. The power to make a bomb. And this gun I found. Yeah, you can have both. Now this is pot racing. This is a bomb. 
check your mailbox. <laughs> so how was everyone's week besides the Super Bowl? Anything fun happen? Uh, I'm picking up more hours at work. You're participating. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm broke as shit and I need to. Fair. Just don't be broke. Save money. Starve yourself. <laughs> Wall Street be like, just don't be broke. Wall Street be like, just be born into a 1% family. Come or on, starve. Easy. That's what I do. I starve I, myself. I, I swear, well, every... <laughs> really off topic, but I swear, every time there's like this article that's like, Oh, this person started this small business. Find out how, and you read the article, and it's just like, you know, my parents lent me fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, like, where, where's that for me? Come on. Why don't? Why? To be why fair, I ever have one of those? to be fair, most parents do spend an exorbitant amount on their children, but they don't just hand them fifty thousand dollars. Subjective. Subjective. <laughs> Objection. I said most. Yeah, most. Not all. My parents were dumb and decided to have four kids thinking, yeah, we'll make this work, and then... Four kids? Their dubs suck. And then divorce, oh, come on. like, four years Who after the fourth kid. Who told them that Philip Rivers was, the, like, the guy to look up to for that? <laughs> Shut up. Well, What's Philip it? Rivers is Mormon, so that's that? different. That, no, that was Cromartie that had more, right? No, no, Philip Rivers has, like, nine kids. Oh, uh, I could have sworn Cromartie has, like, 20. Let's, let me check. <laughs> it helps when you stay oh, married sh- to oh, the same shit. person for forever. Now why, now, why does everyone make fun of Philip Rivers for nine kids, but not Antonio Cromartie for ten kids? I thought it was more, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, I know. Despite having 14 kids with 8 different women. See, see there is the difference. <laughs> there is the difference, yeah. And why is one of his kids named Jersey Blue, but it's spelled J-U-R-Z-I-E? I don't know. Uh, why are you named... Uh, I, I don't know. The joke is, This joke isn't going anywhere. Why are you a race <laughs> You are, you are what you I, f- I, I almost bailed out of high school, fun fact. Is that why sub leaves a sub? <laughs> no, it's why I'm an idiot. I mean, there's not really a difference, but like... <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Fortnite Battle Pass. Fortnite Battle Pass. You see that, right? I told you I found that clip the other day, right? <laughs> uh, which clip? The the premise of both his profile picture and his YouTube username. I found the clip where he got it from. <laughs> Since when is there a clip? Hold on. It's, like I said, it's from an anime. I don't, I don't know if you know this about him, but he's very good at finding the most random and obscure animes ever. Oh, me? Yes. Well, well, yes and no. Part of it is, um, part of it's because of my friend Will, although he shows me the bad ones. Fair enough. I, I just, I have a joke with him at this point now that anytime he says anything about a fictional character, I'm just like, oh, so all, all the two people who know that they exist must be very happy you're putting them in a rap battle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what it is, though. Like, like I I love these characters. People don't. I want to spread the word, you know? And, yes. Base. I respect not, it. Not the key. Not to make that sound like it was a negative thing. I apologize. But like, well, yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I guess it's a joke. <laughs> and that's what Brad Battle should be about at the end of the day. Characters you love. I, I don't remember who it was, yeah. but, like, months ago I saw someone talking about, I don't even like this character. I'm just using it because it's in right now. I'm just like, Why? Probably Why? triple stabber. Why? Like, I don't know about y'all, but it's hard for me to write about a character if I don't really care for them that much. 
Epic rap battles of history. Fortnite you know. Jonesy versus Numa from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> also, I'm I, not funny. I rebanded. I mean, I I did write one battle with um, a character that I don't really care about. That being um, Marine Hosho versus the Pirate Captain. And I think that's still my best battle to date. How did that come to be? So, I have never so what made never you think like a VTuber uh, wanna be? So the like, origin yes. is literally just that JK posted a um a cover art of that um, matchup in the I think it was the graphic design channel at one point. And I was just kinda like, hey oh, hold up, I kinda vibe with this and then couple days later i just decided you know what we're doing this and you went balls to the wall with that and I rose through the ranks of your to-do list real quick yeah which is is crazy because i have so many matchups planned i don't know why that one in particular involving one character that i don't that i didn't know hardly anything about at the time why i decided to make that one a priority but I'm honestly glad I did. Subleaf rap battles win. I have never written an epic back rap battle of history, and I don't think I will. You should though; it's fun. I might. We. we what is should. a um? What is a matchup you would want? What's um, a character you like and or know very well? <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do one day. Like a 24 hour challenge, 24 hour ride a rap battle. It's just the three of us. <laughs> Don't know. The hundred, slingshot. the hundred hour challenge was great. Oh, um, um, Dom Branch, have you ever seen, um, <laughs> why are Xenomorph? you calling me that? <laughs> oh, uh, I might have shared it, have but I got, ever... I'm gonna link it anyway. <laughs> Xenomorph versus the Easter Bunny. I have not seen. Oh hell yeah! Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what. You uh, can you um can you screen share this um switch yes. tree? Switch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do, what do you want me to screen share? Hold on. Um. I'm... When um when cat links the video. I'm dyslexic okay. and thought it was on your shit post channel. <laughs> Honestly, oh. I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna screen share my entire screen. Okay. Uh, group chat. These bozos. May, may or may not be playing Stardew Valley right now. I told you, my guy's name was like Kanye West from like August. I can't. Why would you name it? <laughs> because I made my world back in like August. I, uh, Kanye West was not the you guy. Could, you couldn't name it a Dachi. <laughs> It'd be like okay, okay, well, that was when we thought a Dachi wasn't funny anymore. When did this group ever think Adachi wasn't funny? For like two seconds. <laughs> I don't believe you. Do you have your sound on? Battle. Is my sound not on? I I can't hear anything from it. Can you hear it, Cat? I don't hear it now. No, you don't hear it? I have, like, is there a way to, like, like... Okay, I, 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 is it working now? Um, are you, no. You might have so, to open it in uh, a okay. separate I'll, tab I'll, or something. I'll stop, I'll stop the screen share then, because, like, I will listen to this, though, because I think it, it, this is cool. Speaking of the 100-hour thing, and back to my point of finding it difficult to write a rap battle with characters you don't know, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know these, um, well, I, well, I knew the Easter Bunny, obviously. I didn't know the Xenomorph super well. It helped that we had, um, seven people working on this one, though, for a hundred hours. Yeah. And that, and the fact that we, well, I won't, I won't spoil it. You should I just. I have two pings and coconut mall. Oh. Because I yeah, added everyone right. twice. <laughs> oh, oh, Luigi has a question. Uh, how is the Fortnite? I <laughs> shit you not. <laughs> Why? How is the Fortnite? Um, I ran out of materials and I got shot in the ass. Funniest shit ever. 
<laughs> Pretty much the Steve versus Toon Link matchup. All of you is gonna get that. Link players. Like, I don't think they're nearly as bad in Ultimate as they were in 4. They just... I struggle with the matchup. <laughs> a lot of different... I'm really thinking about, like, going, like, full, like, just solo main with Wii Fit Trainer. Because, like... Based. Yeah. Like, Pyramithra is a lot better online than offline. But, like, it's situational in offline tournaments. Like, in actual, like, locals and shit. Not that I do tournaments, but I think I might try to pick up Zero Suit a little more. Or Duck Hunt, Doug. Fair enough. Duck Hunt? No! Yes. Beans. Duck Hunt. Okay. Eat so my beans. Best 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 eat my beans. Lost, Duck Hunt, and it's just... Oof. No disrespect to Duck Hunt, but unless you're playing Duck Hunt at like a really high level, lame. Well, yeah, high, high level Duck Hunt play is really cool to watch. I'm just here to have fun and troll. Don't mock me, somebody. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I, I literally was not paying attention. I found a funny thing on Twitter. I'm gonna send it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. Uh, what? What did you say? Is this Prager you? I have no idea. I, I think it's the, uh, was. It was I think it's the, uh, 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 fuck. To kill you. I'm trying, uh, the, it's, it's the SCP guy. Okay. Oh, I oh, think. Hold on. Hold I know on, there's, like, <laughs> someone on YouTube that does, like, SCP stuff, and they're really cool. I think that's who that is. Alright, hold on, Mask is sure. I gotta know if you've seen this clip. Okay. Minecraft Steve. <laughs> it's Minecraft Steve. He's going to kill you. He's going to kill you. Alright, I, got, I gotta know if you've seen this clip. Alright. Oh, this is the one from fucking Game Theory. I've seen this. I love this clip so much. I fucking much. love this clip. I don't think I've seen this one. Is this the one with the Ender Dragon or the Underwater Temple? In the Islamic faith, I've seen like five game Islamic theories total, and that's one of them. Christians have themselves the Bible like, especially in like middle school, it was just like all like Matt Pat, fucking dictated to the Prophet Muhammad. Matthew it took Pat this you. 23 years for the entire book to be revealed to Muhammad. It's also so, much can you hear it? the first verses uh, of the Quran were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad on the no. 23rd night of the ninth Islamic month. So, again, in the Islamic faith, the I number cannot. 23 matters. Well, anyway, what are you flaking? Right now. The yeah. ocean. Oh my god. <laughs> Cause like, you know how okay. like, on like... Is it, well, is it just YouTube? Um, try something else, I guess. Yeah, try like SoundCloud or something, like Leaky SoundCloud. Alright, here, I'll find something else. <laughs> the, I fucked the, I wanna fuck the Wii Fit Trainer song. I fucked up the... <laughs> the what? <laughs> I've shown you I that mean, before. I mean, based, but what? I've shown you that before. What do you think my Steam profile is from? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna need the sauce to that. I told you I don't know where it is. Okay. I think you have me on right, Steam. Can y'all let me know if you hear it? I hear it. I'm the biggest bird! I'm the biggest bird! <laughs> I'm the biggest bird. Yeah, it works with SoundCloud. <laughs> Try it with like YouTube. Just go to like YouTube, type in. Okay, bird. that works. It's a burb. That mm. works. Get that so little is it devil something on here. my end or? Uh, it might be just, just my computer's shit. Well, well, no, cause cat. I couldn't hear it on cat's end either. Oh well, cat's computer is also shit. There. I mean, I'm not wrong. Tale like, as old as time. <laughs> My computer is old. But I hey, found a slingshot. I do technically have a new one, but I'm waiting until I have more space before I set it up. Oh, uh, fair enough. Which could be soon. We might be moving to new apartments in May. Oh shit, nice. 
Wait, so do you live in an apartment now, or do you... We live in a studio. Me and my roommate share in a studio. Wait, is it, like, legit just a studio apartment? I could have swore, like... Yes. From the little bit of it, I've seen that it was a lot more. It is a studio. Oh, okay. We have, like, our living space. Like, a little fold-away bed that's set up where I sleep. And then there's, like, the covering to separate the space. Where, like, his room is, or his, like, bed and stuff is. And then there's, like, a bathroom hall in the corner. Oh. Okay. But yes, the recordings you see of me doing my lovely football predictions. The living space, and you can see the kitchen behind us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. Remember when this was a podcast? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So anyways, none of you care about Smash Bros, but I'm going to talk to you about it anyways. Who do you think I mean, is like getting Smash into for Who do you think's getting into Genesis 9 besides um Hungrybox? Are we talking about Melee? No, we're talking about Ultimate. Hungrybox got in the fucking Ultimate Summit. How? Right. I don't know, but he fucking did. Uh, well, shit. Um Okay, I'm gonna tell you who already is. Actually, I'm gonna look up who is already out real quick. I'm tempted Genesis to go to tournament because you made me look up. No, not me. Genesis Nine NIV God's Covenant with Noah Bible Gateway. I'm looking for Smash Bros. Um, the, 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 the power the, the, of Christ. Gen not Genesis Smash Nine. Genesis Christ. Nine was uh last January. That was oh. the one where we had um Justice versus MK Leo, and it was the greatest fucking set ever. Even though it was Min Min versus Rob. Uh, Are we I'm looking for about... Justice 10? Summit. Born to fight, forced to act. Summit 6. Voting for nice Summit, Summit 6. 6. I'm gonna look at who's still in. Hungrybox I know is in. I don't remember the other guy who got in. Oh. Okay, so Moist Aaron and Hungrybox are already in. Nader U is projected to be- Oh my god, Nader U is getting in. Holy fuck. That's a lot of votes. So it's it's uh, after that it's basically Void, Shattuck, Umeki, Mars, Omega, and then maybe Onan, Sonic, Geist, and Squid Plumber. Hmm. That's Fargo, Karama, Cola. Yeah, no, hey, there's Cola. already eleven people who've been invited. It's A Cola, Cola, Spargo, Karama, Mew, Ace, Tweak. Leo, Protobanum, Paulo, Big D, Gluttony, and Light. Moist Light, let's go. Mo Moist Light, yeah, he's he's good. How the Gluttony. fuck did Big D get an invitation? Bro plays Big Ice D. Climbers. Like, he's he's awesome. Like, dude's from BC, I'm pretty sure. He's pretty cool, but like, he plays fucking Ice Climbers. How the fuck did that happen? I think we need um low-tier god to get nominated one of these low tier god can't go to tournaments anymore he got perma banned off twitch oh he did yeah what is this when was this <laughs> like last december oh shit i actually didn't hear about that dude because like he got banned off of youtube and then he got banned off of twitch a little bit later damn uh he'd be like that sometimes i guess yeah. I mean, when you become a meme encouraging suicide, I guess that happens. <laughs> okay. That should not be fucking funny. <sighs> you should play Fortnite now. Oh, and give someone else... Oh, the rocket the... launcher. Yeah, give someone else the grenade launcher. The tiger poster. Fortnite. Battle Pass. We got Fortnite and Marcus Brownlee. God, don't remind me of that. That was tw that was fucking five years ago. God. Was that only five years ago? Yes, that was only five years ago. It feels like a lifetime ago. Ah, 
That's hot. That's hot. Ah ha ha. To be fair, Will Smith did his job at least. Will Smith was good. Everyone else was dog shit. They just went into this thing of like only getting who was like trendy or like Oh, hey, we want to show the like, diversity. Like, I know that Mr. Yeah. Beast wasn't Mr. Beast until, like, 2021, 2022. But, like, you could have had him do it. It would have been so much more better. Yeah. Even if he wasn't really, like, the Mr. Beast until, like, later. Miss. Like, do y'all remember, like, the Mr. Beast, uh, like, the old, like, Rant, cringe intros, whatever series that he did. You're like, I don't actually. Oh my god, the, like his old stuff before, like he really like started popping off. I would argue it's better than I would argue it's better than the stuff now. Oh yeah, what's your take on um the curing blindness video? I think it's good that he's doing something like that that's helping people, but how the fuck? Is is are like are they putting that shit behind a paywall? Like they should be free well, for the most part. Well, yeah, but that's more of a problem with the system itself than Mr. Beast. Yeah, and without and the without Mr. Beast, the system bad, Mr. In, Beast good. That's my honest take. Yeah, like without Mr. Beast stepping in the first place, a thousand people would not have received helpful well, it's surgery. Like, yes, it's like yeah. so. What if he's doing it for clout? It's a good thing he's doing. Like, yeah, let him have his is, shine. Cloud is pretty cool, except for, like, I don't know. Like, I don't... Like, yeah. like, he's only think, doing it to I make do, himself look better. Would you rather he not do it? I don't... I don't think it's, um... I'm not assuming he's doing that, obviously, but, like... Yeah. I'm just well, saying, like, who cares? Well, I mean, I imagine is. Cloud's a little part of it, but I think that's just kind of his... I think that's just kind of the way he gets it back so he can spend it on more charitable stuff because he does this sort of thing a lot yeah like you gotta like they like they say you gotta spend money to make money but then he spends it again and makes more to spend it again and has also promised to donate every penny of his youtube earnings before he dies So like I think it comes from, I think it, I think it comes from a genuine place. It just, I mean, he's got to he's got to get the income coming in somehow so he can continue to do nice things. Yeah. Well, you get to a certain point, like when you make it, so to speak. You don't really need. I mean, yeah, you can buy a bunch of nice things for yourself all you want with money, but like, there comes a point where like you have too much money. Like, I don't care what anyone says, like, there is such thing as too much. So it's like, yeah. you might as well do something good with it. I mean, I mean, too much money is spending $44 billion on Twitter. Yeah. <sighs> Just to make it worse. Just to make it worse. Just to Significantly make it worse. worse. Like, it is significantly worse. It, like, Twitter like, was already like bad before he got here, but, like, now it's really bad. Twitter Twitter was bad because of the people on it. And now, now it's bad because, because of the people because on it and the platform itself. Yes. <laughs> All right. But what are the social media platforms that are there to run to? God. You just don't oh, um, I don't know. It got I mean, to the point where people decided to end up making other platforms, and then those all failed. Yeah, it, it's tough because Twitter is still far, is still far and away the premier site for like instant news and everything. I always consider Twitter like you know, that's how you kept up with the famous people. Quote unquote. That's kind of how I view. Like yeah. Facebook was like, you know, family, friends, yada yada. Instagram was like all the cool, like, meme pages and shit you wanted to look at. Twitter is where you keep an eye on people you actually like. Like all the big namers and yada yada. Yeah. So if they take that down, it's like, 
And it's so much easier just to tweet something and then, you know, go on Instagram, take a picture, blah, blah, blah. Like, I am very here. actively... I am very actively hoping Twitter crashes and burns at some point. But as is... Like, I don't think I can just leave the platform, you know? Yeah. What do you people like, want me there to would do? have to be, like, a legitimate alternative for Twitter to crash and burn. They're going to start putting it behind a paywall. Like, it's not long until the casual person has to pay for it, or everyone has to pay for it. If Twitter gets put, like, completely behind a paywall, that is what's going to make it crash. Nothing else. Like, because people will put up with shit, even if it's stupid shit that is dumb. But, like, it, 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 at the end of the day, if you make it inaccessible to most people, they're not going to come back. What do you want me to right. do? Post on the YouTube it's, it's community page? It's marketing 101. Like, you've got to, you, if you're selling something, you've got to make people, like... If you're if you're taking something that's free and you're like, hey, you have to pay for this now, people aren't gonna want to buy it. That's kind of how it works. What do you want me to do? Use the YouTube community page to update my life? But wait, YouTube's uh, going to shit too. Everything's going yeah. to shit. Oh no, are we gonna talk about the the new guy that's in charge of YouTube? He is fucking awful. Or at least from what I've yeah. heard. Yeah, well, I've heard negative things, but I'm I'm just concerned with if he can come in and fix the pressing issues with the platform. Yeah. From what I've heard, like, and this might just be Twitter being Twitter, like, spreading misinformation and shit. Twitter moment. But from what I've heard, Susan was already on her way out around 2021, 2022. And it was, it, and that was around the time that I think actually he popped in around 2018. And then he started putting all these ideas out. Like he was very much in charge of getting rid of dislikes. He was in charge. He was um, the guy who wanted like NFTs to be on YouTube. And basically Susan stepped in for the NFTs thing. Like, hey, I like this shit, but like it has no place on YouTube, which I, I agree. It, it doesn't have a place on YouTube. Yeah. But, like, well, now that he's well, the guy in my, charge, I'm worried that might come back. If monetization gets fixed, he can make a few NFTs. I don't give a shit. That's the thing. Yeah, put that, put, like, make, like, a YouTube NFT line. Even though that shit is dead and nobody's gonna buy that shit, I don't care. Just fix the basic shit that's, exactly. like, the problems. And then do whatever kind of crypto scamming shit you want. I don't fucking care. Just make YouTube decent again. Fuck's sake. Like a, it's not yeah, that like tough. A, Bring yeah. back, like, the easiest thing to do right now is bring back sort by old. It's literally a basic fucking sorting algorithm. It is not that hard. Like, there's a lot of this shit that's actually really difficult. I could do that. Bring back its old video editor it's, from, it's like, a in, sorting it's algorithm. <laughs> yes, oh my god, I oh like my it. god. So I did, like, YouTube, like, way back in, like, early on, like, late on in, like, your school, middle school. Like, I did, like, no commentary shit. Like, just, like, like gameplay. Mm -hmm. Like, the basic, like, no-copyright YouTube stuff that they had, like, that you could choose from in the YouTube editor. And then they got rid of it, so I stopped. And this was in, like, yeah. middle school. This was, like, seventh grade. That's how I made a lot of my videos back in the day. I used that thing. Yeah. Honestly, I wanted to see if I can find that old channel, because I don't think... Yeah. Because you know, like... I remember you, I used Bandicam too. Oh my god, that shit's all mega cringe. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, I... Roommate better. Here's the thing Twitter is, Twitter is making it seem like he's the worst guy ever. I'm starting to think that he might be, but like, I'm really hoping that they are wrong. Yeah, I mean, I think we do need to see before we just make snap judgments like that because i do want to believe that he can fix some of the pressing issues and like if you make it more accessible and back to what it was in its prime 
And you can sell a few monkey JPEGs. I don't care. Yeah. Monkey. I'm just really hoping that YouTube doesn't die because, like, I'm out here, like, working minimum wage, and I eventually want to, like, I wouldn't I'm know banking. Do it, a, I'm banking a lot on eventually being able, being able to do like shit on YouTube and Twitch. Twitch has its own problems, by the way. But like, oh, Twitch has so many problems. I, yeah. Like, like I would argue it is significantly worse than YouTube. I wouldn't say significantly worse, but like it has its issues. It it has so many more issues that have actively pissed me off as a consumer. Ugh, yeah. Like like not necessarily as a content creator because I didn't really start getting serious about content creation until about two years ago. Like I would make shit posts on YouTube and do random one-off streams on Twitch. But outside of that, like, I think the interface is absolute dog shit on Twitch. I hate the user interface so much. I, I hate that... the UI is that bad, but, like, it is I hate that really you can't rewind when someone is streaming like you can on YouTube. Yeah, that is Like, even, that... even fucking YouTube has it. Yeah. Um, oh my god, their fucking mobile ad is so... Their, their fucking mobile app is so bad. I hate how, um... I hate how Moderation had a no-ban list for certain creators at one point. And it only got exposed through a, through a massive data leak from Twitch. Here's, like, pretty much most of my issues with Twitch is that the, there's, like, the way that they do, like, contracts and shit with, like, partners. Kind of scummy. Yeah. It's just, like... And, like, legitimately, like, if YouTube wasn't bad, they would be in charge of streaming right now. And if Twitch wasn't bad, they'd be in charge of streaming right now. The fact that they're both, like, not good platforms means that they're keeping each other alive. Yeah. If one of them was good, then the other one would, would go downhill. If they were both good, it would go down to which one was better. And then the other one would go downhill. I mean, uh, I know that definitely a lot of the game... Really but since they both fucking suck, they're both still alive. A lot of the gamers I watch have mostly moved to Twitch. They're like their YouTube channel. They're just like vods now at this point, which ain't bad. But it's like it's you not have a lot of other big names that have moved to um, YouTube re recently. And that's why so many people I mean, get. I know, I know, Lud I know Ludwig is like the big name, but like you have Purple Cliff. Uh... And then you're trying I don't to remember did. You did Jimmy hear? No, he used to stream on YouTube like way back, and then he moved to Twitch. Yeah, he's doing well on Twitch. Yeah. And then because all the ads are a joke on both sides, you're better off just getting sponsorships elsewhere. Yeah, like legitimately, what I would much rather do if I get to that point is I would much rather have like the minimum amount of ads, but like a bunch of sponsorships. Just do like, if I have does. an ad at the beginning of a video, and then I have a mid-roll ad for, like... You need to get your own energy drinks, at least that's what you need to do. Yeah, I need to get sponsored by, like, Gamer Subs or something. I need to actually, like, be, like, a decent-sized content creator first, but, like... What would your flavor be? I don't know. <laughs> Come. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't fucking know. Okay. I mean, that is just G Fuel at the end of the day. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not funny. You know, for the longest time, I thought G Fuel was a Gatorade product. I thought the G stood for Gatorade. No, 
the G stands for uh gamer. Gay sex. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Gay sex fuel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but like that would sell really well. I'm just saying. Nothing sells better Market than gay that sex. Market that shit to Twitter? <laughs> market that shit to like, uh... You can market it to Twitter. Porn does sell on Twitter. <laughs> oh, true. yeah, true. Now that's a spicy stabber. Yeah, no. that, that shit does sell well on Twitter. I will, I will hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Stab so good, might as well be a triple stabber. <laughs> I got four prongs. Call that a triple stabber. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a TF2 joke, but I don't have one. Shit. Putus. Putus, putus. Yeah, putus Spencer here. <laughs> Well, we've reached about the hour point. I guess we can just wrap this up. Anything? Have we already reached like the hour point? That's crazy. Yeah, that went quick. That went quick. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We were supposed to talk about football. Um, well, we did. We talked about football. Well, we kind of. Well, we about did. I, then we I just stopped the, talking about football for a while. Well, we had one that's game funny. to talk about, and the football podcast that wasn't about it, football. And it's been over a week, so they kind of beat it to death. So yeah. Um. So I think we did well tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to think. I think next time we'll definitely get some Q and A's. I'll poll people all over the place. Some yeah. Q and ons. Q and ons. <laughs> <laughs> have some have some fun with it. Some Smash Bros. Some rap battles, football, a little bit of everything. I'll pull over. Rap battles of history. Mario versus. I do think we should consider that though. The endless void. Maybe. Mar or... Monica. Monica versus a wood chipper. <laughs> Get, keep that demon away from me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, have you seen um have you seen Josiah's reaction to Monica versus the Wood Chipper? I have not seen that reaction. <laughs> Let me pull this up. But I think that is something we should consider. Uh, like uh, could we do a I've had just a one hour just write session. Bart my Jonesy versus a zip ball. We choose a matchup and we write it for an hour and then it's it's really short, but this is genuinely one of the funniest videos I've seen in a long time. Oh shit, this actually looks kind of funny. <laughs> Death note. <laughs> Wait a minute, boys, I get back in Comedic timing on the Microsoft startup sound, though. It's so good. <laughs> uh, so, oh do you, so, so, Subly, do you know about this trend at all, or no? Yeah, I've I, I, I've seen the one where it's like Eminem versus IBS. I've seen that. That's okay, that, yeah, that was like the original, and then everyone in the community just started doing it. There's um, Sans versus a Blender. Eminem versus Slenderman. Yo, what's up? I'm Eminem, and you're white. You know, I I think he may have lost the rap battle there. I'm just saying. Yeah. I made um Dwayne the Rock Johnson versus a landmine. Landmine. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Okay, but why did that sound like an actual like rap battle at the start, and then it's just <laughs> blunder? Blunder. Well, man. it was made by it was made by Felix. Mm. He's one of the more Fair upper enough. echelon. <laughs> Coughing baby versus the sun. <laughs> what else is good? Um. Epic rap battles of history. Russell Westbrook 
versus a thermonuclear bomb. <laughs> Russell Wilson versus Russell Westbrook. Is that an actual thing? I feel like that could be an actual thing. It could. It's not, as far as I know. Uh, you know better. No one makes sports rap battles in this community. It It's hard to... Well, I did make... Um, uh, take it back. ERB-10 once made some sports battles. ERB-10 once made some sports battles. We don't... <laughs> we don't look up to them. Wait, who is that? An like, old, what, really know about, like, an old channel, many, many, many years ago. Yeah, oh, it's not. Did they, did they do like some? Uh... I mean, I don't know if the, if the creator did anything. I'm just saying. They're, they're yeah, they, no, their battles were just not good. Is <laughs> oh, the thing. Okay. Oh, wait. Um. Okay. Let me see if I can find. The, when you're like, when you're made, when you're 14 and like injecting rap battles into your veins, you kind of accept yeah, whatever you get. Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Trust me, I thought most of ERBP was good. I thought it was great when it first came out. <sighs> Let me see if I have the video. And I think I got downloaded again. <laughs> oh no, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> no, no, this oh my is god, heat. it's this fucking is sand in the sides from Twitter. No way, I have that guy blocked. <laughs> No, like, he followed me back. I followed him way back. I followed him way back in, like, 2020, and he followed me back, and then just recently, I'm like, hey, this guy's annoying. I should block him. Yeah. Funny as shit. <laughs> no, this is actually bad. What the fuck? Well, yeah, this was made a long time ago. Justin Bieber versus Santa Claus. Oh, wait, do we have, like, an actual like, Q&A thing going? Right. Not right now. I'm, I'm writing down notes for future of these. Yeah. Possible Q&A. Uh, no. 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 You can't. Oh, fucking, no. Is that fucking items? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I made this, by the way. <laughs> Did you make that? That didn't need to be made. I, I, I made it. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, there's this, a meme that cool. I made a while back. I'm, I will see if I can find it. Ugh, God. Uh, old ERVP. Season 1 ERVP. Where is I made a meme. I made a meme. Any a guy named Skrillex probably sucks dick. 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 I just put a filter on it. <laughs> I, 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 like I, I know they're I know they're really bad, but at some point I just need to binge watch the the old ERBPs. We could do that. Maybe we should do that just for a stream, like a drinking kind, like drink every time you cringe. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. You guys can drink. I can't, so I'm just gonna take a shot of hot sauce every time. <laughs> That'd be awful. <laughs> like, I feel like I'd get the short end of the stick out of that. Damn third podcast, and cat's gonna get whisked. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny, though, a drunk podcast. Write it down in my notes. <laughs> Ten years ago. Ten years ago, I thought it's saying each time. <laughs> Ten years ago, I thought people saying the F slur in a battle was funny. <laughs> mm. If Ugh. they can, if they can, if they can reclaim it. You know what? If they can't reclaim it, I will. It's my turn. <laughs> I guess that's true. Most of the community could probably claim it. 
<laughs> you know, you know what's so insane to me about this battle in particular, the Mozart versus Skrillex CRBP? Do tell, do tell. Mozart versus Skrillex is my favorite epic rap battles of history. And when you have that as a point of comparison with this, it's just so much worse. Like... Fair enough. <laughs> that or the James like Bond the... and Austin Powers battle. <laughs> that one's good, too. Like, they didn't even try with Mozart's costume here. It's just a bathrobe. That's, like, all of their, like, first two seasons. Any, any, or any battle that had Justin video. It was yeah. Fucking... You know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll start my binge now, just out of morbid curiosity. Morbius curiosity. Yeah. I'm not funny. <laughs> I, that, that reminds me. There's, like, someone I see around at, like, tournaments and stuff. They really like... Morbius. Like, they really like Morbius. I just think that's kind of funny. Well, there we go, folks. Isaac's gonna see how many times he can cringe, so he's gonna try to be unfunny elsewhere. And I'm probably gonna go to bed, because life beats that way. And with that, thank awesome. you all for tuning in to Yeah, the I'll probably part do this later if you're heading out for now. ...of the podcast. Wait, is it all over? Right. I guess so. Oh. I mean, um, I figure the cutoff as an hour is good. Do you want to say anything more? Did I just cut off? Y yeah, sure. Hold on. I'll say something. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what Got I said him. about me not being funny. Got him. Mr. Beast. I'm the cat. All right, good night, guys. That's the quag. That's the rice bowl. We'll catch you all in part three. Hopefully we'll be I more organized. <laughs>